Hey, hello again. One more video for the night. This is Mark, and I want to talk to you about SMR, which means Small Module Reactor. Uh, the company New Scale uh, took on that name uh, because they make small reactors. The price jumped from when I bought it at around $2 to $11, but I had already sold it at $5.70 because I thought that it moved up a little bit too high. Uh, the day after I made uh, another video on SMR stock, uh, I had said that I thought the stock would drop down to around $4, and currently it's about $4.60 approximately. Uh, a substantial amount of shares have traded on it. Uh, it's very active, but really what's going on with this stock? Uh, I made money twice on it, uh, once when I bought it at around two fifty, and it went to three and a quarter. And then again, when I bought it at two dollars, and it went to, it actually went to eleven. But you know, I'm telling you the truth. I sold it at five dollars and seventy cents. So now it's sitting about four fifty. Is it time to buy? Well, based on what I'm seeing, and again, you do whatever you want to do. Don't listen to me. I'm just a guy in front of his computer with an old college shirt on. Uh, the company SMR symbol. Um, the way I read it. It looks like it'll probably jump up a little bit more tomorrow, uh, but there's a lot of uncertainty around the company, which makes me suspect that uh, the price was a pump and dump prior to the um, uh, uh, earnings report. So I think the company is a good company, uh, but I think the right price is probably where it's sitting at. Although you'll probably see more uh, price movement up and down. Uh, what I'm thinking is that uh, they're going to get announced a few contracts, but they've had some problems. Uh, number one, they laid off about, I guess, 30% of their staff, but they still have a lot of people working for them. Uh, if they're going to build these reactors, that's a long-term project with a lot of inspections uh, and a lot of permitting. A lot of people are excited about this company because, yes, the data centers definitely need electricity. Uh, the whole world needs electricity, and they need clean electricity. So nuclear is very, very popular. So just like fuel cells uh, and solar and so forth, I think this will have its run, but until it can really perform and show that it's actually producing electricity, I think it's a really high-risk stock. Um can it get up to, you know, $20, $25, $30, $200 $20, a share? I, I think it can when it has a few of these nuclear reactors under its belt and that it has a really good construction team uh, and management and there's no problems in the, in the jobs. Uh, we don't know what will happen. I mean, the current administration is really pushing union, uh, which increases the cost. Uh, it, you can have a lot of work stoppages. You can have a lot of uh, problems. Uh, supposedly the money that's going to be spent on infrastructure, uh, there might be some easier jobs that uh, physical labor can do for infrastructure like roads and, and windmills and stuff. So getting labor might be a big problem. Uh, getting skilled labor that's capable of understanding exactly what they're building. Remember, the slightest flaw in one of these things can cause a catastrophe. So what do I really think about the stock? Uh, I thought today about buying it, uh, you know, around 450, and then I held off. I said, no, you know what? It, it was down around two bucks, and there's so much uncertainty. I'm not going to buy it. Uh, where would I buy it again? I, I would probably buy it again below two dollars uh, until they can really prove themselves with a finished product, uh, or a lot of money is actually deposited with them for projects. Uh, in, in the billions to complete uh, and that the construction actually started with it. That's when I would probably get very excited. Uh, there is a chance that uh, the Biden administration or the government can throw money at them. I think that'll be a catalyst too. But that's really all I have to say about this uh, company. I know Terra Power uh, or Terra Nuclear, which is Bill Gates' company. I hate that guy. I don't like Gates. Uh, you know why he's got his finger in that and everything else, I have no idea. But they're supposed to be building a, a nuclear uh, reactor, pretty much copied out, uh, 
uh, over new scale. And I, from what I understand, new scale is the only one that actually has a permit for this salt cooling. So let's see what happens. Anyway, this is Mark from Newsweed.com. I only know what I know, and I only talk about what I think I know, which may not be really what I know or don't know. So anyway, have a good evening. This is Mark from Newsweed.com. God bless, and I hope everyone makes some money in the market. Just remember, the people in the stock market make money when it goes up, and then if they're in the know, they make money when it's going down. And that's why we see so much movement in these speculative companies. See you later.